Today, I'm going to show you 10 essential tips and tricks that you should know in FL Studio. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. The key to finishing tracks is to work fast. You need to finish the track before ear fatigue sets in. When that happens, you're going to be sick and tired of the track and it becomes more unlikely that you'll ever finish it. In order to work fast, you need a good workflow. So let's cut to the chase. Number one, keep your projects organized. Make sure to name and color everything. It may seem tedious, but it will make it much easier to navigate the project later on. Number two, you can make dedicated audio and instrument tracks in FL Studio. This is a great tool that can speed up your workflow. Just drop samples of stems on the track headers and select audio tracks. Now the channel rack, playlist, and mixer will automatically be linked. This also will work with VSTs. Just drag and drop them from the browser like this. so that if you change the color or the name in one of them, it will change it everywhere else. Alternatively, you can right-click on the track header in the playlist and select one from the menu. You can also do it in the channel rack. Number three, you can easily copy effects from one mixer track to another. Just click here and select Save Preset As, and then drag it to another mixer track like this. You can also copy an entire mixer's tracks like this. This way, the plugin settings will remain so that you don't have to do the same task several times. Click here and then here. Unfortunately, it's not possible to select multiple effects and drag them all at once. You'll have to drag them one by one. You can, however, save the entire mixer state as a preset and load it on another track. All the settings will be preserved. Number four, you can make multiple versions of your playlist. This is a great tool to use if you want to try something out but don't want to mess up your original arrangement. Just click here and select Clone to make a new copy of your current arrangement. Now you can easily browse between separate versions of the same project without having to save many different versions of it. Number five, while in the mixer, press control and then drag to select several tracks. This is great for adjusting the volume of many tracks at once. You can also move tracks left or right by selecting a track and then holding the Alt key while using the right or left arrows on your keyboard. Number six, in the mixer, you can also easily make groups of buses. To do that, let's move in an empty track first. This will be our submix track. Now make a selection of the tracks you want to group, including the empty track. Then right click on it, track routing, and then Create Submix. Now all of these tracks will be routed to the Submix track before going to the master. You can now add effects to the Submix track. Any processing you add here will affect all the tracks combined in this Submix.
Number seven, not sure if that kick is sounding quite right in the mix, or perhaps you want to try out another clap. No problem. You can easily audition different samples in FL Studio, even when the project is playing. This makes it much easier to find the samples that work well in the mix. Select the sample you want to replace, then navigate to your samples in the browser and click on the middle mouse button to automatically replace a sample. You can also hold shift and then use the up or down arrows to replace the sample. This will make it much easier to find the right sounds. You can drag and drop. Number eight, use the F keys to quickly open or close the main windows such as the mixer, playlist, channel rack, and so on. Learn the hotkeys as this will speed up your workflow quite a lot. Number nine, did you just record something great but didn't quite get the timing right? Press Alt, Q to bring up the Quantize tool. As you can see, it's not perfect. To quantize this, we click here, select Tools, and then Quantize. We can also use the keyboard to bring it up. Just hold the Alt key and press Q. Here we have two knobs, start time and duration. Sometimes quantized notes can seem a bit static and robotic. If you want it to sound more natural and human, you can play around with these knobs for a different effect. Next, we have this menu. We have a few options. You can, for example, choose not to quantize the duration of a note. Perhaps you want to quantize the start time but not the end time, and so on. The third knob seen here is the sensitivity knob. That's basically how much of the quantize effect is being applied. On the bottom, we have pan, velocity, release, pitch, and so on. These are pretty self-explanatory. Check out my dedicated quantize tutorial to learn more about this great tool. You can find the link in the description below. Number 10. In the piano roll, you can hold the Alt keys and right-click to quickly audition notes. This is especially useful when making chords. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'd like to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support, and as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the links below if you need feedback on your music, mastering, and so on. Thanks for watching.